Alrighty guys, we got a three part video coming for you today out in Scottsdale, Arizona. We are starting out with a $1 million robot and it's gonna decide which irons I should play. We are then gonna move over to the Cool Club's facility, which has never been shown on camera before. And then we are gonna wrap this video up with a full arm lock putter fitting. Let's get into this. Guys, I'm in a huge dilemma. I cannot decide which irons I want. And today, we're gonna have the robot pick them for me. First, I'm gonna go hit the Tiger Woods irons, the P7TWs, and I'm going to hit the P770 irons from TaylorMade. They're very different. Now, on one side, you have the Tiger Woods irons, which are super bladey. You know, you can work the ball a lot more. And then you have the P770s, which are a little more forgiving, hotter off the face. We're gonna see what the robot says I should play. I don't know. Let's get right into this. All right, guys, come on in here. We're at Sunridge Canyon. Look at all this. This is like a candy store for an adult. Makes me want to almost eat this shaft here. Look at this. What are you saying? Man? Okay. I'm not going to eat that shaft, but it looks very nice. Um, <laughs> here we go. Jack, good to see you, man. Mark, Mark, Mark. Um, we got Jared over here as well. We're going to be dialing in these irons today. Guys, let's let's get right into this. Let's, yeah. uh, let's start hitting some shots. What's the problem, first of all? I think right now there's an ego issue, you know? Because I just love the way these look. They're so beautiful. Scotty's using them. He's been winning a lot with them. And I'm like, dang, if he's using them, you know, I got to try them, but they're tough to hit. So Got let's just, middle. yeah, let's get some numbers on this. Let's get the 770, go head to head. And then wherever we get. Yeah, let's compare the two. We'll let the robot decide. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna hit these for now. We're gonna let my human air take over. And then we're gonna go over to the robot and start testing with that. And it's gonna hit both of these heads. It's gonna see with my swing speed, all those different things. We're gonna enter them into the robot. I mean, this place is like unbelievable, the technology they have. So you guys are in for a treat. Let's, let's start hitting some shots here. All right, for today, we're gonna be hitting a six iron. I feel like that's where the cutoff is when you're doing a combo set. So it's a really good test. You gotta hit it pretty good once you get up to these longer irons. You wanna start with the P770? No, I'm gonna start you with a T-Dub, because uh, you know that's at home. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll go 770. So. Yeah, I don't really know it as home, I wouldn't say. No. It's not home yet, but it's, it's I'm getting used to but it. You like this one, right? In the I brain, do. you like yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah. Here we go, let's hit some T-Dubs. Well, that's pretty good. Whew. It's one of the best ones you've hit since we've been doing this. Yeah? Yeah. That's how you start out the video. There we go. This it just feels very like, it's great, but it's a lot a lot more spinny than when I've hit those off camera. For sure. So. And that's true, right? You've got more loft on the on the Tiger Blade than you have on the 770, so you're gonna create more RPM. So, right. and, I mean, this will be part of it. It's like, the 770 is almost certainly going to be longer. Where do you miss hitting the face more? Toe, heel, oh. toe? Let's talk about these numbers for a second too. It's only going 175. Yeah, but that was a little miss hit, right? That last one? Maybe a little. Where did the first one go? The, well, the first one you had 177. See, that's still very short though. Had a little higher ball speed. That's just and, very and short. Ignore, ignore total carry when you're looking at irons, right? You just, you, sorry, ignore the total. You just want to look at carry. So you had one, 170 carry, just, just over 170 really and short. 168. Spin was still 6,000, 6,000. So that was, that was okay for considering a miss hit. There we go. And, and distance is a part of irons, but it's not the most important part. Right? right. All right, here we go. Now we're moving on to this beauty. It's a lot thicker, but it really, at the end of the day, it doesn't look too much thicker when you're looking down at it. No. It feels like very... And when very you're looking at it in the bag, it's got like a flat back on it. It doesn't look right. like it's got a big cavity on there. Right. Oh, it looks great. No, I missed that. You missed that and the ball speed was four miles an hour higher than the center strike. That went 180 and that was yes. a miss hit. I mean, that is so... That is it. A little off the toe. And you like that turning over a little bit, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, 175, so that's so like it's the, the, but the thing is though, with this iron, it's like, it's not going too far. It's not like one of those yeah. irons where it's like, 
unrealistic. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like jumping 200. And, and that's what this one's designed to be. So like 790 is a much stronger lofted again. Like that really is your like long iron club or a game improvement club. This thing here is exactly this spot that you're talking about. It's like, do I really want to play a blade? Right. Or am I happy looking down at something that looks like a blade but gives me some forgiveness? Okay. Like Let me hit a couple more and then we're going to head over to the robot. Yep, 131 ball speed. So this is a noticeable difference. Right. It just feels nice. It's like a very solid iron, a little more friendly, I would say, but the TWs are wonderful as well, and like they feel so nice off the face, so it's hard. For a lot of people, this is a, a good compromise. You know, they used to not have this iron in the lineup, but now it's, you know, it's a club that looks good for the player's irons, but it has so much technology. Yeah, and there's a lot of pros out there, like, I don't even know, like Lee Westwood, and a yeah. lot of the guys that are playing these thicker irons. Yep. And they're touring pro, so that should, that tells you something. You don't see many guys out there with four iron little skinny blades. Yeah. I just you don't anymore. anymore. It's harder. It's exactly like you say. In the toe hit in something like this is going to drop way more distance off than a toe hit in, in something like that. Right. Yeah. So now, kind of indecisive, guys. I want to I want to hear your opinion on this. I mean, it's a big decision on like what irons I commit to and what I stick with for a while. But we're gonna let the robot decide a little bit right now. We're gonna head over there, start letting this thing whack away at some balls, and look at some data. All right. Well, we're heading over to the robot, and I. This is an ego thing right now. I mean, I've tried the MBs and the MCs, and I'm now falling into, I love the TWs more than those. The P770s just are so, the miss hits are just a lot better, and I, I wanna play good golf, so here we go. We're over at the robot. All right, here we go. Mr. Riley, it's nice to meet you, man. It's nice good to have to you on the you. channel. Yeah. Absolute legend right here. Um, he's dialed on the robot. Yep. So let's, let's talk about this. So what are we doing? Today we're gonna to be doing um, an iron test with the two irons that Grant is going to be deciding between the two. And uh, this robot, is, we have it set up to mimic his swing so we can get the most accurate results. How did you do that? Um, so we have multi- So this thing's turning into me. Yeah, it is. Turn into, we have Photoshop your face up there. Oh but gosh, yeah, that's actually a good thumbnail. <laughs> Shoot, All that right. would be good. We got it uh, twisted a little bit to fit your in to out um, swing plane and then we got it at your line angle. So it's basically Grant Horvath's arm basically. All right. Yeah. So. Wow. It's that easy, man. First off, do we want to do the... Yeah, let's do the target blade. Though. Yeah, yeah, let's target look at that. Blade. All right. We got three points here. Um, we're going to do a center hit, center strike. We're going to be doing um, a toe hit and a heel hit, basically to see which ones Grant should be playing. And um, we're going to put this in here first. We got this leveled out. I, I can see it. It looks just like me. <laughs> yeah, I might. I pretty ripped. But... All right, guys. Good. Safety first. The fact that it has... Are we doing so if I hit timing? that button, he would lose his arm. Oh, do we need yeah. So we're going to be using these tailor-made TP5 X's to test. This is the ball I'm playing now. Let's see, or this is this is some real data, real data, data. Yeah, last night after meeting Grant for the first time, I got to call my mom and share my life, uh, life big moment in my life, and uh, yeah, we're gonna do that one again. <laughs> Riley, he, he quoted like my first video ever with Garrett. It's actually me and my teammate Jacob did like a 2v2 and he was quoting that one, which is just crazy. Cause like you really have to know the stuff to know that video and I- Yeah, I got to call my mom, tell her a big life moment that I had and show some photos and show the video of me topping the ball in front of Grant. It was, uh... <laughs> Roll, roll the clip. Roll the clip, Nelson. <laughs> we're gonna hit it on three different spots. The toe, oh my gosh, I can see myself. This is awesome. Uh, we're gonna hit on the toe, and then the center, and then the heel. <laughs> dude, I can't, dude. <laughs> Nailed. <laughs> Nailed. But we're gonna hit all those different locations, and basically, we're gonna see which iron performs the best off of those miss hits. And, you know, you kinda already know which, where this is going, but, uh, oh, we got that. Dot, dot, dot. It's starting right now. Oh my goodness. This is why I wear my safety goggles. First one after whoa, you change the amps. Right. After you change the amps, the first one. Yeah, he just walked in there like an absolute maniac. <laughs> this one's got a bruised thumb. Yeah, <laughs> Riley, be careful, dude. This is my best friend. I hang out with this thing eight hours a day. We're so in tune. It's unreal. Riley, you're killing yeah. it, man. Hey, you're doing great. I Guys, I'm gonna it. link uh, Riley's socials in the description. Make sure you just blow them up. That would be crazy. Um, we're gonna we're gonna start with a center hit. Yeah, we got the TW on there. Um, we're gonna use these tailor-made balls. We're gonna hit one out the center uh, and watch where it goes on the range and uh, be able to Let's compare go. it. Yeah. Let's see the, see the numbers here. I'm looking at distance too because I wanna get my six iron up to that 185. I wanna be able to hit my six iron 185, 190 when I hit it good. Oh. So. That was a center hit on TW. And how far did that go? That one went. 171. 
just under 170. It's a little. Wow. That's kind yeah. of that's a little, a little shorter, shorter side. Okay. See if I mean if I'm only hitting my six iron 170, I tend to hit my clubs off the toe a little bit. Riley is just dialed, guys. This guy he wants it more than everyone else. That's just, just, a, the just difference. a little bit more. It's just the difference. He wants it a little more. Here we go. Wind it up, man. That's some good tempo. That looks like uh, Sung JM. Decky at the top. Oh. Okay, so that was a toe hit with the seven iron. Toe hit with the seven. So this is me. We have it locked in to my. You know, my swing speed, my path. This is me miss hitting it. 164, right 164, here. 164, yep. That's, you know, if I'm over some water, I gotta carry it 170 and I just hit it off the toe. Yeah, I don't even think we need to test the heel. I don't hit iron shots off the heel. Why test it? Why test it if it ain't broke? Or if it ain't broken, <laughs> don't fix it. <laughs> Let's All right. do it. Yeah. <laughs> He tried. He tried. It was a really good, uh, really good attempt there, Riley. All right. <laughs> Man, I rehearsed this this morning too. Hey, he was. He said he was talking in the shower before this video. We tested two shots. One off the center with the seven iron. It went 171. Um, one off the toe it was 164. So that's a that's a pretty big dispersion there. Now we're gonna move on to the P770 and get some feedback here. We are on to the P770 head. She's absolutely beautiful. She's got a little thickness to her. A little screw here, and we got the speed pocket, which is hard to see because of lighting. All right, here we go. This is the P770. We got it centered away. Um, we're gonna put the tailor-made ball on and try the center hit. Center hit, now we're gonna be looking at the carry distance. I've actually been looking at the total accidentally, so here we go. This is the P770, first swing off the center. That shot just went. Drum roll. Here we go. 180. 180 total. Compared. One, yeah. Okay, so let's look at the carry on the TW. Let's go back to that other one. Carry on the TW. So. Uh, carry the, will be right here, 161. Gosh, so we were 161, 155 carry with a seven iron. And now we've jumped up a good eight, nine yards. Yeah, it's uh. That's kind of, yeah, it's just, I've noticed when I've gone to the TWs, they feel amazing. I'm able to work it. Their spin rate's gonna be a lot higher, but I think I need that eight yards extra. I really do. Um, it's hard to hit my seven iron, you know, 160. So, I mean, that's the first shot off the center and it, it's eight yards further, which isn't like crazy. I, don't, I also do not want this crazy hot iron that's jumping off the face going 220 with a six iron. That's not what I want. This is this is only eight yards more. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. Last ball here, guys, of this entire video, the toe shot with the P770. TW went 155. We're gonna see what this tailor made P70 off the toe. So this is a miss hit. Got more draw out of that one. I carried about 164, if I, if I saw that properly. Carry 162. Okay. Which that's more than the it's 55. 155 was the total, but if you look at even your toe hits, it's gonna carry more. This is a pride hit, guys. This is a, this is an ego hit. I think we're gonna we're gonna start dialing in some P770s. Um, we're gonna go hit them now, the full bag. Start start messing with them. But yeah, guys, I wanna I want you guys to let me know what you think I should do. Shout out to Cool Clubs for letting us come out here and use their robot. There's not many of these in the world, so it's really cool to see the robot hit shots and and know that you're getting the right result. All right guys, we have made it to the Cool Clubs facility and today I am going to show you things that I don't think have ever been seen on YouTube golf before. Some technology, some robots, everything you can think of. I don't even know what's going on. So you guys are gonna be able to see this firsthand. And like I said, I don't think it's ever been shown. All right guys, we're gonna jump right into this. We got Jack here. There's just so much when you come in here that you're looking at and your eyes are just like, what is going on? I mean, look around here. Putting studio is something I wanna talk about. This and is like in your face as soon as you come in. Right. Yeah. The kind of lights and whistles, it's all going on. We got the laser shooting down on the on the on the mat there. We got pop view up the top. So yeah. we, we can make this thing tilt left to right, right to left. This is like the the whole experience of putting and I know you've kind of dived into it a little bit, so you've yeah. got to got to see what goes on. But right. track man numbers, video, putt view numbers, putt view video, like it's it's pretty cool. And there's also camera angles from every single view possible. I mean that's kind of like a little brief overview of this. And we already we'll have a segment in this video where I'm actually getting fit for the arm lock. Tarp We've still. come through here. Uh, just showing the far left. Like after you've been fit for your putt, you want yeah. you want to be able to bend it. We got our own loft and line machine, which we machine and, and design and engineer in house. So yeah. this is a cool clubs putting loft line machine just specifically for putters. 
Gotcha. So, especially for an arm lock, you're gonna need a bunch of loft, right? Yeah, right. It's really important exactly. to, to bend some loft into it. On right. right. Anyone, anyone can, can come in here. Anyone yeah, can just sure. show up. Yeah. Wow. Come and check it out. Everything we do is by appointment only in terms of like the real custom fitting. But you're right. more than welcome to come through, have a look at the, the stock that we've got, have a look at the build shop. People will take you on a tour, just like you and I are doing. Yeah. So, and this is kind of the impressive stuff with the with the clubs, right? This is every major manufacturer. Yeah. We test it on the robot, which we'll obviously get into a lot more. Yeah, later. yeah. Got all the new heads. This one's pretty cool. That's not bad. She. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's awesome. And I mean, this is obviously when you walk in, guys, but there's stuff back behind these doors, all the technology, and when we walk back over there, it's like things that I've never seen. I've been able to have a tour here actually off camera, so I've seen like everything here, and it's absolutely mind blowing. So let's go. You want to go back? back? Yeah. All right. All right, so what's going on back in here? This is a build area, like custom build area. But this is really for VIP clients or like our tour, tour clients. So you'll see some names up there that we built some yeah, golf clubs for over time. Look at this right here. Woo. Oh, a little Grant Horvat section yeah, there at some point. maybe one day I'll make it up there. You never know. Well, this is Matt Powell. This is our guy. He does all the builds. Hey, nice to see you. Um, Matt's attention to detail. That's why he's in this spot. This this like role is really, really fine tuned, right? All the guys you have coming to have in here. a degree uh, bending clubs uh, to our players are very meticulous. Um, we take our time and make sure everything's dialed in uh, to their specifications. We got Matt Kucher right up here. We got Tom Lehman. Yeah, Streelman, Jeff Ogilvy, Peter Jacobson. I mean, I know all those names. That's wild. And so you have like all their clubs just like specked out perfectly. Yeah, and most of them uh, they'll call in, order. I want this new set go off of my specs and uh, build me three sets send them uh, here here and here and uh, we'll, we'll dial them in from drivers down to putters wedges irons it's fun we keep very detailed files too so we know exactly what the golfer wants and uh, get it to their specifications we're gonna go see Dell he's gonna stamp some wedges what's going on Dell what's going on here. good to see you, dude good seeing you again man um, and we did this uh, a little sand bit. blasting we did that a little while ago for him that was a little bit earlier yeah. Oh, that is my logo, nice. yeah. And then now I think we're gonna do uh we wanna do on like Horvat use only. Like yeah, stamp. yeah, you wanna get some stamps on there, so yeah, we'll get them on there for you real quick and I'll show you kind of what we do. What color do you what color do you want? You haven't told me yet. Let's do blue for this one. Blue? Horvat use only. A lot of guys the other day we did some stuff for like Cooch. Uh-huh. And I stamped like a couple of his wedges and he just liked it this way better. One more. One more letter. So we're gonna do a uh, Horvat use in gold, oh. and then we're gonna do the only in red. There we go. It's coming out good, dude. I like it. Red or blue. Woo! Oh, that is just it itches your brain. Yo, that is sick. All right, guys, Good we're gonna keep you. moving on through the facility. Shout out to Dell for hooking me up there. Wow, that is beautiful. This golf shaft has never been tested for on the S3 machine. So this is like the first time they're gonna get the data from it. This is where the technology starts to get wild. We kind of showed you more of the golf club side where it's like assembling stuff. But this is where the technology starts to come into play. All right, so this is the technology that I do not believe has ever been shown on YouTube. Um, and this is like hand-built robotic stuff to test golf shafts. This right. is this is Glenn. What's going on, Glenn? Hey, how you doing? How's it going, man? You want to show me this thing? So this is called the S3 machine, shaft simulation system. Uh -huh. So what it does is basically simulate the shaft like on impact. Mark and, and the engineers that work for us, Glenn, and there's a couple of others, they kind of theorize that that's not necessarily how a golf shaft's moving when it's being swung. So guys, I love this KBS shaft that we are about to test. And like I said, it's never been tested on this machine yet, and we're going to try and figure out live on video why people like the shaft because it's been released to the public it's never been tested and everyone seems to really like it especially myself it was my favorite shaft I hit so let's see what the numbers are a bunch of data is about to pop up on the screen after they go through the testing the kick points you're gonna see this robot will actually move this shaft in different directions and like flex it it's just wild so this shaft is actually very straight really really straight yeah it's really good 
right now it's at 816. You're saying that's a straight shaft? In what Very way? Straight. Like it's like perfectly circled? Or? Uh huh. If you rotate around the shaft and you look at it, you don't see any, uh, a lot of deflection. Crazy how many golf shafts, good golf shafts that come out and it could be like kinked way to the left. This just ironically is one of the best golf shafts that we'll measure all year kind of thing. It's, wow. Yeah, maybe you need <laughs> this one. <laughs> right now we're gonna proceed to the next step. So now it's putting like a constant load and it's seeing how much uh, deviation the shaft has when it rotates 360 degrees. That was really cool. Thank you. Nice meeting you, man. Um, we're going to keep moving on. I'm excited to keep using that shaft after seeing all these numbers here and they're saying how nice it is. But now we're going to move on to like the build shop where you have everything, all the heads and shafts being built. Yep. All right, get ready. We're going in. Oh, here's my shaft. Yes. So build shop, this is our main build shop. This is where like, if you order a set of golf clubs, everything's coming through here, basically. We pull the stock, we've got another facility with all of our, our stock heads in there. And then we got maybe seven builders here at any time in the year, building golf clubs every single day. Um, come have a look at the shaft. This is our iron shafts only. Holy, what the heck? And our steel, we got Nippon, we got Dynamic Gold. We've got... Uh, Project X in there. Where's the driver shaft? Driver shafts are locked up in another room. We got um, a whole wall, we got a 20 foot wall of driver shafts. Yeah, I like all the really cool colorful shafts, you know? Yeah. This is how we get in to the iron shaft facility. So what are you basically doing? You get, oh, okay, I There's see. Our key. Wow. And then we gotta go next door. All right. Whoa, man. Come on, come on in here. So that's just all iron heads and wedges down the right hand side. So oh, Tor AD, stop it. There's like a gold one they came out with too. I'll what the you. heck is that? You. You'll see it there somewhere. And then some of these you might like. I mean, these, these are your boxes right here. This is oh, baby, there we go. HD drivers. That was the high draw one. Self to 10.5s, HDs, self to plus. Dude, this is so cool. I just want to keep looking at shafts. What is wrong with me? There's the secret shaft room. Hopefully you guys have made it this far in the video because now we're about to show you crazy putters that the owner, Mark, has collected over the years. And these are like Scotty Camerons. I don't think that many people have seen. Start with these Bettinardis over here. Some super wow. limited edition Bettinardis. This was the Bay 100. Um, 100 tour wins putter, specifically the gold plated one there. 100 tour wins. Yeah, this kind of stuff, like it even's got the certificate. Yeah, all those certificates up the top there, they've been putters that have either in here or gone through here. It's an original bullseye? Yeah. And he will not sell that. He won't get rid of this one. Holy crap, how much is that worth? Make up a number. 50,000? <laughs> it's just it's just not one of those things that you won't find in that kind of condition. It's brand new. Oh it's like, my god. Look at this. That is so cool. There, I, I'm not a big putter like collector, but I know there's some people watching this right oh, yeah. now. So let's let's go over all these putters quick. Let's just kind of like roll down the line. So you'll see some of these are like limited runs. There'll be a bunch out there, but we get we kind of get five or six and, and we kind of move them each year. This one here is a circle T, so that's generally made for like tour use only. Right. Maybe a tour player gave that to us or something like that. We've been using them. Dude, this gold one, what Honma, the heck Honma. is that? Honma, they do some really crazy stuff. That'll be genuinely gold plated. Ping. So this was given as a as a present to all of the kind of fitting companies around the country. It's Five thousand uh, dollars. I mean, we won't even sell that thing. It's just. Uh, it I the see the price balls? tag on it right there. Yeah. Is that five thousand? Yeah. It's four. Five grand. Yeah. Oh my god. A one? putter for five grand. It's a cheap one. Six hundred. Yeah, uh, this one here is like it's about sixteen hundred. It was released and they sold out overnight. I saw like lines of people waiting for this. This was a jet set. TP Mills is kind of rare. You don't really see much of this stuff. These are all the kind of original, original. They haven't been used. They've still got that nice PVD finish on them. The Pro Platinum. You've seen that a bunch of times on TV. Wow. Well, hopefully the putter people out there that love collecting putters make a stop by Cool Clubs here in Arizona. You guys can come in and actually see all this stuff. Guys, we're gonna head over now and hit some balls on the simulator and mold this KBS shaft. So we're gonna hit on the simulator just a little bit, get some numbers, and then we're gonna wrap this video up. We're gonna show you guys the simulator room really quick at Cool Clubs. They actually build their own stuff. So this is all built in-house. Cool Clubs technology. All right, here we go. I'm gonna rip some of these drivers here with the new Stealth. Let's see. Let's see what the numbers I can get. Let's see. If I can get it up to like three, three ten. 
All right, we're getting there. Get warmed up. 320 sky. Come on, now look at those. So I don't hit it actually 240 off the tee like I say. Oh, it's at the bottom of the face. Straight though. We're getting faster. Big guy. Oh. Come on, baby. 323. I'm just ripping them out there on the rope. 323, man. There we go, guys. That wraps it up. Thank you, Jack, for taking us to the facility. Shout out to Cool Clubs. If you guys are in Arizona and want to come get one of the coolest fittings you can get, come on out here. I got the new arm lock putter. I wanted it just a little bit longer up my forearm. So Mark's going to tweak it right here and add a different grip to it. Perfect. Good. Try this one. It's a little yeah. bit too long. So we're probably talking about in here. Okay. You'll lean over a little more. Right. I'm like yeah. That. And then your eyes get you know kind of right over. Yeah. Because the more I bring it somewhere. in, yeah, the more I bring it in. Yeah. Then it gets up in there. Right. Right. Let's cut it here to start, and then we'll just take a look. Perfect. Yeah, that looks about right. That's pretty close there, actually. Let's get you on film real quick with that. Let's try that. Yeah. This place is, is wild. So is that grip made specifically for arm lock? Yeah, so it's specifically arm lock. So it's got this little bump right here. So what that does is that pushes it away from you here. So it's like the putter being leaning too much because you got a lot of angle here. You have that six or seven degrees of loft on it that kind of just straightens it out more so you don't have to use as much. So it's specifically designed for, for belly putters or it used to be belly putters, now arm lock, right? We could go lower down your arm like that, for sure. Yeah, well, we made it longer, we made it shorter, and we tried the uh, arm lock one that locks in here, but Grant likes it further up. So the problem with that arm lock piece, you know, here, is when he holds this far up, then his hand's on the steel. So we're gonna go back to something like this, make it a little longer, so he get his hands all the way on there. I shout out to Mark for dialing in this arm lock. I mean, we've gone back and redone it like 30 times now. We're trying to get it perfectly on my forearm where I can grip it and it feels absolutely perfect. But I love that TaylorMade Spider GT head. It's the actual arm lock head. So now we're just trying to get the length dialed in. We're gonna head over here now to the putting lab and make sure this arm lock is feeling good. There's your answer. Yep. Yeah, I mean, so what, what, what I like though is about it for you is that you look like there's no tension. When you're going like this, like with that smaller one, think about it. You're, you're tightening down. You're just relaxed right now. Right, right. Your hands are relaxed. Right, exactly. I, I mean, I, you know, I can see it from here, like the difference between your when you're gripping that smaller one. Versus the bigger one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good there. That was... Let's take a look on the film real quick. That was hit solid. That one was hit in the center, that last one. There's probably optimal numbers, right? For yeah. Putting. Pretty close, you're pretty close right, right there. <laughs> you're not, not going to get much better than that, I don't think. No, that's rolling pretty good. Well, the honeymoon phase is in full effect. <laughs> you don't make four of those on that carpet in a row without it feeling right. It's a lot nicer when it's bigger because it actually sits up against my forearm better. Yeah. Okay, oh, fine. you're nailing them. Wow. Well, numbers are on that one. That's pretty good. That's not even. That's not legal. Yep. 91% roll. You're really good. Deck angle. You're up almost six degrees. So it's rolling big time quick. Look at his hands, Mark. Look how calm they are. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? That's like a big thing for me when we're looking at people. Oh, I agree. They're not futzing around trying to get it uncomfortable. Oh, wow. Dead center. All right, Grant. seven in a row? It is. Flight is going hot. Come on, you the loft. What, 11? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Too many to count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at this point. Shout out to Cool Clubs. If you guys are in Arizona and want to come get one of the coolest fittings you can get, come on out here. Um, I'll leave their information in the description if you guys want to check them out. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this never seen before footage of some of the technology here at Cool Club. So, till next time guys.
Peace.